Hello, it's Toya and welcome back to the Academic Society. So today, I'm actually on campus in what's called the Founders Garden on my campus and it's so pretty, but I thought it would be so fitting to actually film this video here because I'm talking about school stuff today. I tried something very interesting in my class that I really saw a benefit from and I think my students really, really appreciated it. So normally in my pre-calculus class, I give a quiz every single week just so they can have shorter, smaller milestones and multiple chances to understand the mater material before the big test comes. But I've noticed that the first quiz is always a huge learning lesson for my students and they really struggle. So I came up with a way to help them after the first quiz going forward. And I think this activity was really appreciated by the students and I really believe that it was helpful for them as well and I enjoy doing it too. So I'm going to share all about this quiz debrief that I did in my class. So if you're teaching and you're interested in this topic, definitely keep watching this video. So I'm Toyin. I'm the founder of the Academic Society. I got my PhD in math and I landed my dream job. I'm now a senior lecturer at a university and I also create these videos on time management and productivity as well as my academic lifestyle. So this semester I'm teaching four sections of pre-calculus and so my school is a little different. We have this small class size initiative where all of our pre-calculus and calculus one classes are part of this small class initiative where we have 19 students or less in every single class which is amazing so I do a lot of group work a lot of hands-on things a lot of individual attention from me to my students but something that I've noticed specifically in pre-calculus is that students they haven't learned how to study for math yet they think that if they're able to just reproduce exactly what the instructor has shown them that they understand what's going on and so I always give a quiz every single week in that class and the first the first quiz came up and as expected most students did not do very well despite the problems being so similar <laughs> to the problems that we had already done in class. They've had homework and all of these things. They've had so much practice but they just studied ineffectively for the quiz. So I was thinking okay how can I make this a true learning lesson for the students so that they don't actually give up and stop trying in the class and think that math is not for them and how do I motivate them and so I came up with this idea of doing a quiz debrief and that's what I'm gonna share today so I gave the quiz it was a three question quiz and many students did horribly some students made a hundred percent so it wasn't every single student however the majority of the students did not do as well as they thought that they would so the next day in class, after I had graded the quizzes, I actually did not return the quizzes. I told them I would return them at the end of class because I didn't want them to be distracted by their grade and feel down. Instead, I handed out fresh quizzes to everyone and I told them to work in groups to work through the quiz together. That way, every student would see that it was possible to actually complete the quiz and they would have a solution there for the quiz. On the board, while they worked on the quiz, I told them in their groups, this is what they should be talking about with their group mates. Number one, what is this question talking about? What is What concept is this question asking about? That's the first question. Number two, what is the format of the answer? So should the answer just be a number? Should it be a point? Should it be an equation? Do you need to write words? And then finally, the third question they should discuss is how do we start? And these are the questions I actually put on the board almost every day on the first few days of class because this is how I want them to be thinking when they actually take their quizzes and tests on their own. So every group worked through, I even heard them asking each other those three questions and they were able to work through the quiz and none of them needed my help at all. So they worked through the quiz. After they finished the quiz, I asked them, did you study effectively for the quiz? And I was like, be honest. Most students said they did not study effectively for the quiz. And so I said, all right, well, how do you study effectively for the quiz? Let's go through each question. So I put on the board, number one, this question was graphing an absolute value function. I said, have we done this before in class? Have you seen an example like that? And they said, yes. I said, when? They said, first day of class in the notes. Also, it was on their pre-class assignment. So I wrote those two things up next to number one. 
Number two, I asked the same thing. Where did you see problems like that before? They said pre-class assignment, in-class worksheet. Wonderful. Number three, where did you see a question like that? They said pre-class assignment, in-class worksheet, and you put it on the board. I said, yes. Do you see a trend here? Is there something that stands out more than others on places where you can go to prepare for the quiz? They're like the in-class worksheet. I said, yes, the in-class worksheets are so important. That's the thing they're working on in class, working on groups and using those que three questions I give them to answer the questions. And so I said, these in-class worksheets are so important. And these questions, you're practicing asking questions to your groups, but these are the questions you have to ask yourself when you're taking a quiz or test on your own. And I was like, okay, now that we know what the most important thing is to study, the in-class worksheets, but also secondarily the lecture videos and the pre-class assignment, but mostly in-class worksheets, how do you actually study those? And so I had an example of the in-class worksheet, and so I was looking through and said, is this how you study? Oh yeah, this looks good. Oh yeah, I remember this. I remember when we worked on this problem. I remember this. Oh yeah, then we had to do that. Yeah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. I'm like, did you all study like that? And a lot of them did. I was like, yeah, that's the quickest way to forget everything. We can't study math just by reading and looking through old problems that have already been worked. Instead, you need to actually work the problems from scratch on your own without the solutions next to you. And so I asked them, all right, everyone, do you understand how to prepare for the next quiz? And they were like, yes, they seem to really appreciate it. Cut to this week, I gave the second quiz, and oh my goodness, what a difference. Most students passed the quiz, and in one of my classes, eight students made a 100%. And this is eight out of 19 students. Almost half the class made 100%. For sure half the class made A's, which was amazing. I had a lot of 100% on the second quiz, and I asked them before the quiz, you know, what are you gonna study? They told me in class worksheet. I was like, how are you gonna do it? They said, working the problems from scratch, and it worked out. And so I just wanted to share this quiz debrief that I did with the students, because it really worked in my class. Maybe it can work with yours. Maybe you can tweak it so that it works for your own discipline. But I was very pleased with what happened with my students um, this week, and they truly were able to see that I cared about their success in my class and it makes them um, more motivated to work harder and in a more effective way to prepare for the class and not feel super defeated by a, gr a a quiz that they just didn't do well on. Um, and so at the end of that debrief, I did give the quizzes back, but they understood exactly why they lost points and I didn't have any pushback or any issues for the bad grades. They were just motivated to do better the next time. All right, so I hope that this video was enjoyable. Have you done something like this? I've done this before after tests. I do test reflections in my classes, but I've never done it for a quiz. Let me know if you've done something similar, if you have any teaching tips, uh, leave them in the comments of this video. So if you're new here, um, consider subscribing. I create new videos every other Sunday. Maybe there'll be a surprise video here and there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.